Hey everybody, it's Richie the Barber. Woohoo! Yeah! This video, um, I, I want to tell everybody and talk about is, um, uh, about just worry about yourself with, um, with cutting hair. You know, don't worry about, don't worry about other people what, what they, what they say about and what they do in the shop when you're working with other people cutting hair. That's with, you know, barbering, stylists, and all that stuff like that. You know, why why worry about Sally or, or, or Timmy or anybody like, you know, he did more haircuts than me. You know, they're not cutting hair. They're just laying around. They're just eating. They're not doing anything. Like, don't worry about it. It's just going to give you more stress. If you worry about people all the time. You just get stressed constantly because you're worrying about other people. You're pointing the finger when you should just mainly just focus on yourself, you know, and just if they if they don't do what they're supposed to do, then, then they'll get, I guess, I mean, fired or let go if you're working at, you know, a shop. I mean, it's different if it's your shop, then, yeah, you got to, I mean, definitely you know, talk to them and stuff like that. But if you're working in a shop and there's a bunch of people, there's like 20 of you or five or even three or two, I don't know. You know, if it's not your shop, just, just worry, focus on yourself. You know, focus on that. You know, if you keep on worrying constantly, it's going to affect you as a human being and it's going to affect your workplace. And it's just not good for you as a person, you know. It's tough at first, you know, because you get, you know, just frustrated, like, you know, come on, man, come on, you know, work, work, or do this, you know. But it's just, I think it's going to get conflict, you know, because they're going to look at you like, why are you telling me what to do? Why? Are you, you know, they're going to, you know, mad at you, and then it's a, it's a fight, it's an argument. I don't know what, what's going to happen, you know. But just, I mean, the only thing you do is, is really reflect yourself on other people. You know, just as you working, um, you just reflect on other people in a good, positive way, you know? And they, they're gonna look at you like, hey, you know, um, she's doing good or he's doing good, you know? Maybe I should like, you know, talk to, to them and see how how their worth ethics are or whatever, you know? Um, I don't know, it's just conflict. It's crazy working in, in a shop. You know, I've worked at many shops and um, it's tough. It's, it's real tough sometimes, but you just gotta be patient. You know, that's one thing about our business, our, our, our line of work is patience. You know, being a stylist, a barber, just really developing patience with, with, um, yourself with other people with clients customers all kinds of stuff of that the more patience you get the better with with uh, life with your work with everything you know i truly believe that you know it's just always patience you know and also when it's tough working in a shop when you know you got conflict you got you know tension between another person and you're like, ah, what am I gonna do? You know, it's tough. We just gotta, you know, take day by day. I mean, if it gets worse, yeah, move to another shop. But if it's um, fixable, do you know, doable, you can, you can, you can fix it. You know, I mean, not every shop's gonna be perfect. But if it's a good environment, then everything around you is good. People are good. Clients, customers. Um, you know, your workers, it's gonna be fun. You know, everybody's have a blast, having fun. You know, and that's all you can do is just just worry about yourself, cut hair, um, have fun every day, lift people up, don't bring people down. You know, and when you bring people down, it's gonna bring yourself down. You know, that's what I believe in. You know, what I mean, you can tell about the environment real fast. You know, uh, if everybody treats each other nice and, and kind, then the whole environment around you is really going to be good. 
you know, with everybody. Smiling, having fun, um, and not getting mad about anything, you know. Just worry about yourself, you know. Focus on what you need to do to cut hair better, to be a better person, to have patience, to cut hair and learn. We always learn. Everybody's learning all the time. I love learning from everybody else in the shop, from other people. You know, we don't know everything. We don't. Everybody cuts hair different. Um, I've seen many, many different ways of, of cutting hair. And you can learn from so much from different people. And so that's, I mean, it's a beautiful thing when you learn from other people. You know, just like, hey, I want, I want to learn that. What what are you doing with those with those scissors? What are you doing with the clippers or, or anything like that? You know, just learn, always learn. And and not pick on other people from for doing crazy stuff and I don't know, it's crazy. All the egos and you know but all you can do is reflect. Reflect yourself on other people and and just patience. A lot of patience. And then eventually, I mean everybody and the shops could have could be uplifted, and um, I mean clients really they see that if they, if a client walks in or a customer or whatever and they see you like frustrated really bad they're gonna they're gonna know that, and they're gonna be like why why is my person cutting my hair frustrated about somebody else I'm here getting a haircut, you know, it's not about you it's about the client, the clients coming in and getting a haircut. There's people coming in and paying you. To come in and get haircuts, they don't want drama. They don't want any of that stuff. You know, they just want to see. They want to get a haircut and have a great experience in the barbershop or the salon or anything. Not about what Timmy's wearing or Sally's wearing or, or what you're doing. You know, who's got more haircuts than you? That's wonderful if they get more haircuts than you. Lift them up. Be happy for them. You know, if you don't got more haircuts. Figure out why. Sit down and be like, okay, why don't got why don't got haircuts? Why don't I got a lot of haircuts? What do I got to change to do this? What can I do to change myself and get more haircuts? You know, study more, uh, learn more. I I don't know. Think about it with your mind instead of pointing the finger at other people. You know, that's with everything, any any job or anything. You just got to focus on yourself and. And try to, to really, really learn more as much as you can, you know? And then everything's gonna be better. Life is gonna be better, you know? Because when your environment is good, then everything around you is good. When you love things, you know, and you be peaceful and kind, then you're gonna be a better person, you know? Uh, I mean, that's just what I believe in. I just, I hope that you guys like this video um, I'm gonna do more videos to help out or ask questions answer questions uh, I don't know everything but I just want to share with everybody else what I know and hopefully that helps you guys with everything I love you guys Yee! Woohoo!